Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video about my palette collection. I got a comment on my makeup collection video to do a video on my eyeshadow palettes and do some swatches. So that is what I did. So I hope you all enjoy. Hey everybody, so I am filming in my living room on the floor right now. I have blankets laid out because um, I figured this will probably be the most spacious place to do this. So my palettes are a little crazy, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out here. Start off with the first one on the stack and this is also going to be a little bit of a declutter so there is this palette and it is the you had me at hello by ColourPop, and I'm sure I got this in a boxy charm and these colors are really pretty I really like these metal colors so this is the Smashbox a blaze eye palette shadow palette then I have the Venus, let's see here, that's the Venus 2, where's the Venus 1? By Lime Crime, and this has such pretty colors. I mean, just look at that one, that one is insane. Oh my goodness. Then this Too Faced Best Year Ever, and truthfully, I have never even touched it. I, I think I swatched this one shadow and maybe that one, and other than that, I have not used it. So I'm gonna say this one probably is time to go. <laughs> And then I have this Mixed Metals Nude Palette. And I got this from Target, actually. And the colors are really pretty, but I don't know. I just I have never used it. I just swatched those two colors, and that's it. And then I have this little Maybelline New York Palette. And this one I used a lot more for the shimmer shades. And it's another little mini palette. There's another one of those. And then I have my little sleek eyeshadow palette, which I still want to do a video on, and it's the mini eyeshadow palette. And then I have my Too Faced Tutti Frutti Razzle Dazzle Berry palette. And it has gorgeous colors, so I usually use this one on my lid for my everyday look. And it smells like berries. And then I have these three palettes here which are from Too Faced and they came in one of those Christmas collections and while they do have pretty colors I have never actually used these. I've swatched the pretty colors like that one's gorgeous but I have never actually used these. And then I have this palette which is the Party Animal Laura Lee Los Angeles. I got it at my BoxyCharm and it came shattered so yeah there's that. <laughs> Then I have this Too Faced Kat Von D, and it is the Heart Magnetic Palette, and it has the Too Faced side, and then it has the Kat Von D side, which that red is really pretty, and the white, and I use this for a Halloween look, but that's all. Truly, I would only really keep her side, um, just because I really love Too Faced, but I just don't use those colors. And then I have this ColourPop palette, which I created just by buying little individual shadows, and they super pretty uh, let's see if I can see what shade each one is oops so it's popular demand cute alert and cloud nine and then save it for later I love color pop shadows I mean look at that that's just incredible and then put it on your hand and oh my goodness they're just so creamy I have this glam glam <laughs> I have this glam metals by crown but I never use it. It's got gorgeous. I mean, look at these. They're just incredible. But I just don't use them. So for that reason, I should not keep it. <laughs> then I have this Huda Beauty palette. And it's the Warren Brown Obsessions. And I use it all the time. <laughs> As you can tell, I finally hit pan on this one. Which is so funny because I don't feel like I use that anymore than I use those two. And I only hit pan on that one. And then I have this Blink BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love these colors, like, oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. 
It's so freaking pretty. I have this little Makeup Forever Artist Color Shadow and it was just a little sample. I've never even touched it. This color is really pretty. Actually, all of them are. But yeah, I haven't used it yet. I actually forgot I had that, so I need to try that. Then I have my Lorac Pro Palette and this is the first one and it's just so pretty and a classic. So then I have this Tales Oldest Time Beauty and the Beast palette. And as you've seen my tattoo video, you know I love Beauty and the Beast. And the mirror came shattered, but I love this one. And the gray and these little mauve, mauve, mauve colors, rose colors. See, there we go. They're all just so pretty. And then I have this Alomar Cosmetics palette, and I got this in my BoxyCharm. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to play with this palette. I have only swatched a few shades, but I really need to actually play with it. That one looks like the ocean. It looks so pretty. I have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, and I absolutely love these colors. Like, there's so many that I haven't played with. Like, I haven't played with those. I haven't used these. I have to start playing with this more. And then my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. <laughs> so here is the Huda Beauty Remastered. This is gorgeous. I love this so much. And then the colors, oh my goodness, they're so pretty. All right. And then I have this, The Nudes by Maybelline, and I hit pan on one of these because I used to use this for every single day, so I hit pan on that. I loved this palette. And then I have this Unzipped Ocean Sunset by Lorac, and it has these gorgeous colors, and Lorac's shadows are so creamy. I just, I love it so much. So pretty, like that is the perfect little rose color right there. And then I have this Morphe palette, and it is the 35OS, and truthfully, I don't actually use this at all. I can't remember the last time I've used it. I like to think that I should keep it around because I love these colors, but I don't know. I just, they're so smooth and so gorgeous. It's just, I don't know how, like, I mean, look at that. And then I have this Sephora Z palette that I created with just random shadows. So these are either ColourPop, Anastasia, or MAC shadows, or these I think are like Ofra or something like that. Let's see. But they're just all so pretty. This is an Anastasia duochrome one. And then I think the rest are MAC and these are all ColourPop. But the other side of it, cause it is a double-sided one. I don't have anything but just the magnetic stuff and the little key to get them out. I have my Urban Decay beached eyeshadow palette and here is this palette oh my goodness gracious it is so gorgeous like every time i see this palette it just makes me so happy just look at all of this it's the ocean this is the becca ombre eye palette and i love these colors here they're so pretty and here is the pure saray diaries palette that i have used and let's see take like this color and I'll put it on our hand just look at that so pretty and then we have the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe and we open this up and I played with a few of them I think I even used this to make two looks on my YouTube channel so far so here it is pretty palette that is the masquerade by Julia's place oh hello I love their packaging and their colors are just so gorgeous. Again, like look at all the looks you could create with this. It's just so incredible. Like that one and all of these. Oh my goodness. I'm, I don't know what to do with this one, but I'm, I'm thinking of something. And then I have another Juvia's Place, the Saharan 2. And this one's my favorite. That one makes my heart happy every time I see it. And that, and then all of those, like it's just so pretty. I'll do this one. I'll do this one. Look at that. I'm running out of hand. Okay. Oh yeah. So pretty. And that one. So pretty. This Pat McGrath palette. And it is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. I love her packaging. And I love this so much. Oh my gosh. I can never figure out which side is this. <laughs> there we go. It's so pretty. And here it is. And I have not opened it, not played with it. I got this in New York when I went for a beauty con last year. 
And then I have this little Pacifica palette, which I really love, and I love that green. And the next one is this Lime Crime Venus Shadow palette. And this one's so pretty. I really love reds, as you can tell. That's like my go-to thing, and I love those kind of nice, soft browns. They're so pretty. And then I have this Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And this is my favorite palette. As you can tell, it's really dirty. Um, I love these so much. I combine those and then put that on my lid in the corner. I do like a cut crease with it. It's so pretty. That color is pretty. All of it is just gorgeous and amazing. And I love that color. And then I have these two melt stacks, which I join together. There is the dark matter and then the rust stack. And if you've never seen a melt stack before, it has like a mirror and then the shadows are all on top. And then again, shadows are all on top. Then I have the Naughty Palette by Kylie Jenner from her Christmas collection. And I love how that looks. Um, I have not used this one either because I just kind of forgot. I was going through this phase where I was just collecting and collecting and collecting shadow palettes and I just didn't use them. So um, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of videos on looks with them. <laughs> Then I have this BoxyCharm one, which is really pretty. It still has its film on it, but I have used it, and I really like this one. I love the colors in there. That one's really pretty. And then I have this Winky Lux BoxyCharm palette, and it's the kitten palette, and this one's really pretty. I love that color, and these, that one really gets my heart. The next palette I have is this Pies of the Caribbean by Lorac and it has all these gorgeous colors in it and then i have my deck of scarlet palette which has the lips on that side and then the eyeshadows on this side and then a contour and a highlight i have this one by urban decay and kristen Lian. um i have never actually used this one and basically i'm not really sure why i bought it because i don't think i'll ever use it i think what sold me was just this color right these actually both of these and then I have this Lorac Los Angeles palette, and this is actually inspired by Los Angeles. And these colors are gorgeous. That kitty cat color is my favorite. And then the next palette is the Alice in Wonderland, or Alice Through the Looking Glass by Urban Decay. And here we are. And then here is the actual palette down here. The next one I have is this The Balm Meet Matrimony palette. Hello. And... These colors are gorgeous. Is this Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette and it's the Holy Grail. And oh my goodness, if you could understand how much I wanted this palette and searched and searched and searched for this palette. It's so gorgeous. I like, I love, I love oranges and reds. They're just so pretty for green eyes. So then the next one is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia which I'm sure the world has seen this. <laughs> we all know and love this palette very much. Then I have the Subculture palette, and I have used this one. I tried to create a look with this one. I just, I love this so much. It's just, it's so pretty. And I don't know, I did have some issues with it, but I think it just takes a lot of patience. And then I got the Prism palette. These colors, oh my god, that yellow, that one, it's emerald and pretty, and that purple, oh my god, and that one's pretty too. And then I have the Norvina palette, and it has, oh god, a lot of natural colors in it, and then some really pretty shimmers. And then I have this Soft Glam by Anastasia, and it won't come out, and... What a shocker, I haven't used this one either. But it's really pretty and really natural as well for like everyday looks. And then it has these pretty ones. I feel like these would be cute for like a natural prom look. Which actually I think this is, was like a wedding prom palette. And then the last two palettes are the Natasha Denona palettes. And the Sunset palette actually was stopped being sold for a while and then came back out. And I had to buy it the moment it did. And so here are the pretty colors. It has this little thing here that tells you the colors. And then there is the actual palette itself. And then I have the Natasha Denona Star Palette. And all of her packaging is really nice. And it has the same film as the last one. And this one I actually haven't even touched. It just came like this. It's really messy. But I think it's just because it's really soft. Because that one's starting to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and just... Oh my goodness, it's so soft, I barely even touched it. 
All right, we're gonna put it like right in here in between. Oh my god. It's so pretty. <laughs> That's so crazy. So that is the end of the up close and some swatches of my palettes. Now, time to organize. So I put all my small ones in this. which is gonna be my large palettes. So I'm going to first start off with the Morphe's palettes that I have, and even though that one's bigger, I'm gonna keep it that way, guys. Oh well. <laughs> we go so here are all the large palettes thank you for watching the video i really hope you all enjoyed and before i leave i have two things so one is an announcement i applied to be a sephora influencer so i'm going to leave the link down below i would so appreciate it and it would mean the world to me if you could click on that link and just let them know what you think of my channel and myself because it would be a dream come true to work with sephora and to be an influencer with them it would be absolutely amazing and then the next thing is the shout out so let's get into the shout outs and for my shout outs today i am going to shout out two different people the first one is going to be Elle littlewood here is their YouTube channel. So his is gaming. He has like challenge videos on here too. I'm trying to like scroll through and show you guys everything. And he is absolutely amazing and super supportive on YouTube, on Twitter, everything. So absolutely recommend you go check him out. So the next person is inspired by Tor and she is so sweet and absolutely supportive as well. Her and the next person I'm going to show you these YouTuber chats on um, Twitter. It's small youtuber chats and it's really cool because you can answer some questions get some answers from them on um, things to improve of and just kind of talk to other youtubers that are just starting out just like you or even if they're not just starting out they have a small youtube channel and it's just a really supportive place to hang out and talk to people and here's her youtube channel and it's also inspired by tor she does makeup videos ipsy unboxings and the next person is the Lavender Lifestyle. She is so amazing and very sweet. She, I just met her last night through that chat and it was very cool to meet people. She gave me some good advice. And this is the Lavender Lifestyle is her YouTube name. And she does journaling, there's yoga. So she does lifestyle videos and they are absolutely amazing and so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, please click that link down below and just let Sephora know what you think of myself and my channel. And yeah. <laughs> and I will see you next video. Bye.